Ahoy, fellas! So I just did like a 20 minute recording of this, and I have listened to this specific voice line probably four times now, maybe five. Honestly, yeah, five. Okay, so basically, today I'm going to get to the chasms, and that is it. And then, hopefully, I can actually make a recording out of this. Wouldn't it be cool? Um, basically, I did this, it's now around 2, I was recording this around uh, 1. Not 1, but it was around 12.30 or so. But it um, didn't actually record. Because... We just have common language, my fellas. Most of the shacks in the village were built out of trash. Trash from our world. It was, after all, a garbage disposal pad. Yes, these are facts. So, today... Where am I going? Let's go over here, why not? Well, she said the place with the windmill, right? There's the place with the windmill. It's actually pretty far down. Interesting. I can probably jump there from here. Maybe. Let's see. That, I was not holding forward. I was like, I'm holding the run key. What the heck? Okay, that's not what I was supposed to do. But I, I, I again, I likely could actually get there from here. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Anyway, welcome to the platforming bit that took me a couple tries. Just because. I think. No, actually, this isn't the platforming bit that took me a couple tries. This is not right. Okay, I tried. I tried. I tried linking up there. Didn't happen. But, you know. It'd be like that sometimes. At least I landed on the frickin'. I did, in fact, land on the island, the bridge, that time, which is good. I rarely do actually land places. I think if I just hold on to ground, I will... Okay, good. That is very good stuff, because I was pretty dang sure I wouldn't actually be able to... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, never mind. I was almost sure that I would just slide off because of the the uh, momentum. The game is extremely momentum based. And this specific drop that I have to get onto that tiny island took me quite a while. So let's try this out. Yeah, I was I fell just short, I think, the first couple of times. And then I just straight up didn't go to the right place this time. Like I was I was going way off. But this is where I'm supposed to go. And hey, look at Sammy, the man, the myth, the legend. Ahoy, dude. Hi, how are you? Yeah, he speaks in terms of our, which is a little odd. But anyway, I don't know that I actually have to listen to him. I got the crystal, that's all I want. He went to the chasms, and he, he never came back. How about that? Dude, <laughs> what the heck? Sure, how about that? I didn't know I had a zoom. To help finding Fred. <laughs> no. Please, man, that is impossible. None of us may enter the chasms. It is too dangerous. Bra moment. Danger? If Fred can do it, so can I. I say this for your own protection, Madeline. How about that? You're forbidden from entering the chasms. Just because you're afraid of what's outside the village doesn't mean I am. I'm nothing like you. I'll never be. Bruh moment. 
Are you winning, son? Anyway. Uh, what an idiot. Yeah, I got it. Then go into the chasms. Find Fred. And if you see Madeline, take care of her. Okay, pal. Be safe. I will absolutely do that. I felt a little uneasy about moving on into the chasms. If it was too dangerous for Maddie, would it be safe enough for me? Probably not. We'll find out. Anyway, I have three of these tethers now. That means I can do crap like this. And hopefully not just completely overshoot islands. But, you know, I will absolutely 100% do that. Yo, 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 yo. Into the frickin' chasms. Actually, no, I don't want to overjump. There is a little lip here, but there is something down here. Hmm. What was that? It's interesting that it didn't actually... Okay, there's supposed to be a voice line there, and it straight up didn't play it. How about that? Anyway, weird measuring mechanism Fred had likely built. How weird. Also, I think I've really gotten used to the platforming here. Not platforming, but the tethering and all that jazz. Okay, I, I clicked instead of holding. Big my bad. It's kind of difficult to figure out where you're going to be when you're actually in range sometimes, but it doesn't matter all too much. I almost just straight up... Here we go. Whoa, dude. What is that? What is this freaking place? Actually, I don't know if those are the secrets. There's like, there are, um... There's a set of like 25 different things you can find that are supposed to be like relics of Fred's, basically. And I don't know if that's, uh... Please let me hold on to it, please. I don't know if those are what they, I'm looking for or what. It seems like it, that's likely. But I really, again, I have no clue. So we'll find out, I'm sure, but we also very possibly might not. There we go. Darkness swept over me as I left the glittering lights in the village behind me and headed for the ominous shadows of the chasms. Yes, these are facts. Anyway, did I say that I was going to get to the chasms? It seems like this is only like a seven minute video. It struck me how much darker it was in there. Yeah, it is pretty dark. Black as ink. Yeah, it's pretty dark. I tried not to be afraid. I couldn't help but shiver. Was it the darkness that frightened the villagers as well? Or was it something else? No clue, man. I'm sure we'll find out. Is there anything? I don't think so. So I suppose this video will end after discovery number one of the... Uh, what am I looking for? What am I... What am I... Oh, I'm guessing I have to jump upward then? That's a little odd. That it has us doing things like this. Typically it just doesn't, honestly. I'm still really glad for the Fred markings, though. And I say that, when I say that, I mean the, the existing markings on the rocks that we're supposed to hit. Those were presumably made by Fred on his trek through here. So it's very convenient to find exactly the specific points that you're supposed to use. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that'll happen. I bonked. You can probably, like, legitimately skip a couple of these and just honestly like grapple elsewhere hopefully you don't hit the freaking stalactite on your bonk on your head you know but it'll happen cuz why not is this a place that I need to go it's possible there's not really a path over here anymore 
There was at, at the start, but not now. Huh. It's an herb. And some markings. Weird. Yeah, about those black as ink shadows. Sure is. Okay, that's the sound of myself. Alright. I I think that after I look around this area, if if I say anything else, that'll probably be about it. I'm not hearing any beeping, so I don't think it, there are any more measurement machines. So, hey, Maddie. Oh, there's Maddie. I'm glad you came. Sorry about back there. I just get so frustrated. Guess who asked? They so desperately to what they know. Won't ever do anything new. <laughs> Bro, sucks, huh? I told Madeline I didn't mind, and I asked her what she was doing with the book. Oh, this? These writings? It's like a secret language. Wow. Then by people who left the village long ago. They're called the strays. But no one wants to talk about them. That's a big rip. I started translating their language with help from a stray book that Fred found. This one says, Don't move when the eye is open, I think. I wonder what it means. Whatever. We should get going. Why don't you take me on your huh. It'll be faster if you carry me. I used to piggyback on Fred all the time. Don't turn around move. And I'll hop up. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, You're that's going to drop me, right? No, because contrary to popular opinion, I don't drop people I'm carrying, okay? And with the suit on, I could barely feel the extra weight. <laughs> anyway, I think that'll be all, but I would like to know if this is don't move when the eye is open. I would like to know what the other one says, so I'll see if I can kind of... Uh, I think I kind of get it. A little bit. I would like to see if I can translate the other one. Because there was glowing text, um, I believe, over this direction, yeah. This is going to be real tedious if I don't get it the first try, so I'm likely just going to... Eh, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to look it up if I can't figure it out just from looking at it. Uh, I'm not going to lie, no clue. I know that the, the fourth one is an E, that's about it. And the second, the third one's likely an A, but I don't think so. The vowels seem to be just teepee kind of shapes. All right, looking it up time. This is this is what I do, my fellas. Here's the thing: I find it viable to an extent to cheat on things that would otherwise be tedious. Um, if it's part of the game, then I don't. Or like this, this is likely not going to be important, so I find it even more okay. Uh, story about my uncle. Uh, what was it? Stray language? Stray language? Because it is, it is a one-to-one -one alphabet is another thing that's very cool. There is, um... All right. Because the um, let's see here. There are there are sometimes that oh god. There are certain portions where, or certain games that I play that. There, there are secret languages, and it's not at all one to one. Like Hyperlight Drifter has an alphabet that. Um, oh, that's interesting. It appears the first one is A. Apparently, she opens the book, and you can, 
look into it and there's just a one to one alphabet like straight up so it's a n that would be a, a n is it actually it just says answer but with no w Got a... Well, shoot, man. Now where am I? I think I might have shot myself off into some place I'm not supposed to be. Oh, no. It's just... What the hell? Anyway. Answer, but with no W. A-N-S-E-R. Answer? Something like that. A little odd. But I'm not one to judge. Uh, it's interesting to have even have a cryptic kind of language in any in any game, really. I was talking about Hyperlight Drifter. They don't have a one-to-one -one alphabet. It's like you have a one in two chance of having the right letter. And uh, the winding, narrow tunnels felt like they were closing in on you. They were oddly long and twisting, almost like someone. Or something had dug them out. Weird. I had to be careful not to bump her head on the ceiling. Why not? Anyway, on the next episode, for one, that's a bit of red. That's a speck of red in an entire world of blue and gray. So that's odd. On the next episode, we are going to be begin our ascent into the chasms, or further into the chasms. Uh, this is a new series. I hope that it gets picked up a bit more, though I understand that, um, I didn't know about this game. I don't know if I've ever really seen anyone else play it. And it's old, and the graphics are a little bit outdated, and the gameplay may not be the most interesting thing in the world, but, and also episode one I made, like, a year ago, I think. Uh, if any questions about anything that's going on check episode one but this is probably where the real game starts um, and I might have to go back and actually title episode one into anything that would be recognizable anyway like comment and subscribe or I will literally toss you into a trash pad that takes you into an alternate dimension and there are frog people wouldn't that be rad Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.